Okay, now this rim has been modified slightly from its original uh, manufacturing position. What I did was I ground out this area right in here so that it's flat. This area right in here I took away about a maybe an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch all the way around on all four sides. On this side and on the underneath side. By cutting both sides out I found out that it gives me four positions to put my cast iron rim, uh, cast iron wheel on this rim. I can put it straight down on top of this by setting it down and I'll do that in just a minute or I can bring it up from the back side and put it underneath here with the axle bolt on the cast iron wheel sticking out of the tractor that's one position two positions or I can flip the rim over and put it with the hub down one side here that's three positions or pull it up from the bottom four positions of the four positions that I can place that cast iron wheel from my 1939 Alice Chambers B uh, two positions will be with the bolts on the outside so it makes it easy for tire servicing the other two positions will be the wheel will be inside the cast iron rim which means you'd have to remove the cast iron wheel from the tractor in order to service the tire so on my particular tractor I'll probably choose to put it with the bolts on the outside for easier service in uh, just a minute I'll set the rim down on there the cast iron wheel on this rim and you'll see how nice it fits so stand by if the bolts don't line up Exactly, you wiggle the wheel just a little bit. You see they lock right in. This is a nice snug fit. It's riding inside where it belongs. These are 5 8 grade A bolts. This is one of the four positions. I'll probably reverse it and put it the other way, and uh, we'll do that right now. Now my valve stem is down, however, I can now set this inside this way, drop the four 5 8 grade 8 bolt, drops right in, and again, sets up on the rim fine put the nuts on it, it'll be fine. Now this way, it's a cleaner design, but you have to remove the cast iron wheel in order to service the tire. I don't like that option. This is the option that I'm probably going to choose for my customers. They drop in like this, like this. I'll probably put the bolt in like this. No, probably on my practice. This will be my option with the flat washer and the lock washer. But this keeps everything nice and nice and smooth, and the wheel works fine. A little bit of grinding, just a little bit of grinding, and it'll be a perfect fit. Nice wheel design. Locks right in.
flat washer on either side and lock washer. I've already had this on on my test model, which is this rim. My valve stem is right here. Makes it easy to remove the tire for service without taking the cast iron wheel off the tractor. These are rim number casting AM2794-4 for the one underneath. It's 1939 Alice Cummings.